Hello and welcome, Ivan Place here. I've been gone for a while visiting beautiful Barcelona, and now that I came back, I still had lots of things to do. Here are two of the nicer things. I was by a campfire style barbecue, and I met a hedgehog. I will tell you more about what I have been up to soon, but for now, let's just play some Ravenfield, because there have been three big updates since I last checked. New pistol, squad tactics, and team tactics, or something, we're gonna check it out. Alright, alright, let's just get into it. New pistol. Alright, so here is the gun, it's called Automatico. Kind of a silly name, just the way I like it. By the way, this is the Iraq map we're playing. Quite like it. Quite like it. Oh, and we spawn inside a building here on, Ira on the Iraq map. Alright, I'll take this, uh, this vehicle then. Let's just get the first capture point and soon we will be in conflict using our gun. The real world name of this gun is Beretta 93R. I remember it from Jagged Alliance 2, where I really didn't like it. I just don't like automatic guns in a turn-based strategy game. But hey, sometimes it's nice when you just want to eat through an enemy with bullets. It was also present in Jurassic Park Trespasser. And to be honest, I don't quite remember it. Probably, again, because it ate so quickly through the ammo that uh, I just used it once uh, and then had to throw it away. So here we go. 20 rounds in this gun, 60 additional rounds to reload, and it is fully automatic. Extremely bad at aiming. But uh, for spray and pray, perfect. Just not over long distance. Let's get out. Let's get out of here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So it's a fun weapon, but not not very good. But I think I prefer this over the uh, the other pistols we have in this game. Ooh, we can get up here even. That's nice. If only I had some ammo. Yeah, definitely ammo is a problem in this gun. All right, come on, let's take this one out. All right, all right. Oh, not good, not good at all. Yeah, I think if we were able to replace the primary with some ammo bags, we could have some fun with it, but uh, the way it is now, not so much. Not so much. Dude, what you doing? Let's get going. Alright, let's try some... Sh okay. Is this, is this doing anything? No, I'm getting shot, but I'm not landing any hits. Well, one hit, but mostly my teammate did the, did the job here. Yeah, that tank is totally surprised over the performance of his gun. But uh, yeah, I like it. Somehow I like this gun. I didn't like how they drove over me. That was not nice. I did like how I just shut down this helicopter. Yellow. Smash. So I do like the sound and I do like the reload animation. Let's look at how uh, how much it sprays. Excuse me, I'm doing some res... Oh, come on, I'm doing some research here. Oh, come on. This this gun is not able to, to make an enemy fall at all. Well, still worked out. So let's continue with the research. That is quite a lot of spray. And now, while targeting, well, it seems to be a bit more focused. That's good. That's good at least. Let's compare this. Man, I moved, so not really good comparison. Uh, let me just take... Yeah, I mean, these are precise shots. A comparison. Don't you get up. So, greaser. Oh wow, look at look how precise this one is. Nice. Yeah, this is no comparison at all. Man, no wonder I like the greaser so much. Even if I mistakenly called it a German gun in the video in which I presented it. Shame on me. Shame on me. Hey buddy. Nice. Alright. All right.
Right, the next big thing in Ravenfield is what I like to call team tactics. So here we all spawn, that's good and nice, and you guys don't know how to drive, that's good. So let's take a look at the loadout menu. We press enter, and we can uh, tell them which way to go. So what if I tell them only, only attack from here to there? Will they actually follow this, this action? What about this? Will they actually listen to me? And this, and this? So I can left click and drag some directions, but I don't really see them following my orders. And this is just the deployment screen, so I can switch between those two. And let's see, I can assign which places to defend and right click to to remove that. I can also right click drag to remove arrows. I guess maybe this only applies to, you know, freshly spawned uh, units. So let's take a look. These units there, they just spawned recently. What if we speed this up? They seem to only be going that way. So let's restart that map and check this again. All right, so before we start, let's just go to the battle plan. Make sure always follow battle plan. Let's tell them to attack like this. Uh, actually, let's remove this one, right? Oh, what? No, this there. Yeah, this. No, this and this. And now let's see what happens if we spawn, deploy. On this minimap, we shall see the movement of our troops. As opposed to earlier, it looks like all the troops are moving north. Even this, yes, this quad even decided to join my instructions. That's awesome. So you can actually tell people which way to go. All right, so I really want this checkpoint. So I'm, that's why I'm throwing all the troops on the north one right under the bridge. I don't even care if it works. And one thing I forgot, let's just also give a defense instruction here. That's the only point we really, really need to defend. All right, we continue here and uh, looks like we're definitely taking this. Just gotta be quick at getting to this flag. All right, here we go. And if we continue watching the map, we see we have no defenders at our main base, which is a bit threatening. But on the other hand, this is really the point we need to defend. Let's speed this up. To be honest, it looks a bit like our troops are a bit confused, but slowly they are making their way to the checkpoint that I asked them to attack. Yeah. Yeah, we're taking this one. Excellent. We got the north of the three checkpoints next to one another. We're getting the middle one. Excellent. From here, they should be attacking the third one, and they are doing so. Excellent. 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 Nice. So now I'm gonna slow down and I'm gonna change tactics. We don't need to attack this anymore. We're gonna just throw everything from everywhere, really. You attack there, you attack there, you attack there, and you attack there. And this is beautiful. I have complained a lot about how extremely defensive the AI is. Basically, gameplay has some issues because of this. And now we can tell the troops pretty much directly which way they should be heading and which bases are worthy of defense and which are not. That was the main problem. Our teammates were defending bases that are completely not in need of defense. Okay, okay. Well, at least if we look at the map, we can see teams are doing good. Definitely having the upper hand here. We have won long ago, but uh, I disabled the thing, the, the heads up display. Also, to get all these updates, you have to be on the beta branch. And to get on the beta branch in Steam, where you have purchased Ravenfield, you have to go to the library section, right click Ravenfield, go to properties, and in there press betas and switch in this drop down menu not to none, but to beta. Then it will update in your case and then you can play the latest updates. Also, the game might break, so just right-click again, Properties, Betas, and back to None. You will not need to buy Ravenfield again. There's nothing to worry about, really. Okay, now it's time for some Spec Ops. Spec Ops has been vastly improved. It's not preview mode anymore. Spec Ops is more ripe, more mature now. So, and the, the balance uh, slider has an effect. If you put it all the way to red, then there will be no blue uh, soldier. So that's a bug, I think. I, uh, I don't want to... Okay, let's try this. If we put it all to blue and, um, well, let's go to spectator mode. All right, let's get in there. And what do we have? We have a red flag with one red soldier. 
<laughs> that's something. And the blue team is nowhere to... Ah, there we go. All right, so here is the blue team. Let's just speed this up a little. See how red fares against one, two, three, four, five, six blues. This is a cool bridge. Also, this is a cool map. Did I mention that this is Iraq? This map feels quite milsome to me. Reminds me of Squad in some ways. Of course, not as huge at all. Okay, looks like I was wrong. There are actually many more soldiers on the red team. Oh yeah, the alarm. That's also a new feature. When uh, red sees you, when red sees the blue team, the alarm is uh, activated. Okay. Blue is going for the flag. But one of the reds, one of the ravens has a rocket launcher. Yep, took one down. Three versus zero right... Four versus zero right now. Blue won by taking the flag. Yeah, I think that's also a new feature that used to be there in the past and has been restored. You can take the flag and win. Let's see if those three... I mean, let's see if those two can keep the flag... Nope, they... Nope. But still, blue won on a technicality. And the really nice thing is that you can spectate this stuff. In the past it was not possible to spectate uh, Spec Ops mode. Now let's join Team Eagle and actually play this. Alright, so if you take a look at the inventory, there's a squad leader kit. You can get it as equipment. In options you can assign a button, squad orders. This one is Z for me. X to open the squad leader kit, which is just a shortcut. You can also use the number. Uh, let's try Z. Yeah, you can, with one button, Tell your squad where to go. Squads, for now, are only available in Spec Ops mode, as far as I can tell. So that's one thing. We can also use the binoculars. And while we use them, we can also use the shortcut to send everybody there. Very useful. I would like it to have some kind of indicator, like it used to have in Beta 5. Alright, and then if we left-click or press the button assigned to this uh, squad kit, we see this map. So we can use the map to tell people where to go. And they will do so on the terrain. You can still use uh, WASD while seeing this map, that's good. And you can right click and then say attack point, which I'm not quite sure what that would mean. But I guess it's where they should direct their attention to. You can also have defense point in other game modes, but then you don't have squads, so that's, uh, that's a bit weird. One really nice thing is how they the squad mates, and AI in general, they duck now. When they defend, they go down. When they are under attack, they take cover properly. Here, have some ammo. I like the way you defend. Also, check it out. Each and every single one of them has a silenced gun. That is cool, because uh, volume actually plays a role now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell these buddies of mine to attack from this hill. Okay, red is in the defense. Okay, this way they will not see me. Oh no. They spotted us. Let me just uh, tell them, tell my teammates to attack. Why are you here? What did I do to make you follow me again? Hmm. Alright, you know what? Go over there. That should be a better angle for you guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Heck no. No! I are dead and so is my team. Red team wins. Alright, we're gonna use this silenced gun. And look at this map. This is just beautiful. Also, let's get a silenced pistol. Suppressed, I mean. Alright, let's go. These buildings don't look so nice, but... Uh, yeah, look at those lights. So now our squad is much bigger, and we can also see there are more icons at the bottom left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but we only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 icons, so that's a bit weird. But that's fine, it's fine. Alright, there we go. I don't think lights have an effect on visibility. Why is my team shooting rockets? Okay, whatever, guys. You just, uh, just go for it. Let's scout the area a little. Looking good so far. Man, I like this. I do like this. What the? Nope.
Don't you use health. That is only for me. Alright, you know what? Come join me, guys. I see one guy camping behind that wall. Huh. Oh, you and your loud guns. Okay, I survived that one, that is nice. We're gonna actually win because of the flag. Let's get rid of that info. Oh, hello! Say hello to my silenced gun, which is completely useless by now, because you're already aware of us. But yeah, that's nice. We can at least uh, tell them to just go for the flag. And so far, the main feature for me is the ability to have one key, uh, which again is in the options, input, and assigned to squad orders. For now, there's only one squad order, and that is go to where I'm pointing at. Uh, can't do it while right-clicking. So, yeah, that's cool. That is cool. You feel like these guys are not completely useless, uh, but actually have some kind of intelligence. Spec Ops became 10 times as cool. Alright, I really like night vision. Let's go for another round. Let's see how silent we can be. Why is it already beeping? Come on. Nobody saw me. Unpleasant. Is it because I was running? Whoops. Oh yeah, night fit. No! <laughs> okay. He spotted me immediately. Good eyesight. Also, these guys are nicely positioned. Okay, you know what? Just get in there, team. Hopefully you will be able to do some damage before before they kill you. Hopefully I will be able to retaliate and uh, take revenge on them taking your lives. Oh, that alarm. I should have taken a sniper. Silence is not the key yet. Okay, team is moving in. Still alive, partially. Nice hit. Oh, too many people. Too many people. Spray and pray it is. Come on, guys. Come on, team. Don't die on me yet. One hit per mag. Okay, two hits per mag. I'm out of ammo. I don't know. If we take the flag, we win. That's all I care about. Beep. Beep. Beep and go. Okay, we didn't get the blue team win sign, probably because I checked uh, reverse team so well. Alright, let's do this with the Automatico and just maybe take a yeah, SL Defender for extra fun. I like Iraq, this map is nice, and I like Spec Ops. What? What? Already? Man, you're just getting right to the action. Ouch, ouch. All right. Shot you in the butt. Ha. Oh yeah, pistol actually doing something. Oh, too many, too many. Don't you shotgun me. All right, this is, uh, yeah, we have this one in the hat, in the box, in the bag. This is a successful run for sure. Okay, you guys, you know what? Just get in there. Don't be shy. Just die. For the team. Do it for the team. Where are those guys? Oh, somebody's on the mountain. Too many mountain, too many mountain people. What the heck? Oh, he was already dead. Four more rounds, one more guy, two more guy. Damn it. Something is up with this gun. I just don't... Something is freaking wrong with the sniper. Nice defensive position. Right, how about you go there? Uh, smoke them out. Hey, listen to that. Nice. Also listen to this. 
also nice. So we win. Let's harvest some uh, some grain now. Chomp, chomp, chomp. So, I gotta say, I do enjoy the battle plan. I do enjoy Spec Ops mode, definitely. Always have, always will be. And I kinda do enjoy the Automatico. Not as much as the Greaser for now. Oh yeah, and this thing can circle all around now. And is independent of uh, the vehicle. This is... There have been a lot of updates that I've been missing while being out of town away from the gaming computer. So I want to thank you for sticking through this with me. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are new here. Stay tuned for some more Ravenfield videos because there have been a lot of updates and a lot of new maps, a lot of new features. Refer to earlier in this video if you don't know how to get these beta updates and I can highly recommend the Iraq map that I'm playing here. If you're not sure how to get this map, just go to Ravenfield in Steam, click Browse the Workshop, Browse Maps, by default, it's the most popular. Uh, you might want to check most recent, perhaps, and then just scroll down until you find it, or just enter Iraq. And then you click it and press the subscribe button, which I already did. And then you will, I mean, Steam will download it for you automatically. So I want to thank you for checking this out with me, and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao! Hey, by the way, thanks to you fine gentlemen and ladies, we breached 9,000 subscribers. Slow down, okay? I definitely need to make a talky talky video before we get to 10,000, because 10,000 subscribers will be special. Some of you who are actively commenting and reading comments know what I mean. Come on, guys. Don't make me make another Ravenfield Drives video, okay?